Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to implement insertion sort algorithm. So what exactly is this insertion sort algorithm? Let me explain. Let's say there is an integer array like this having some integer elements. But all these array elements are not in sorted order. They are in random order. They are neither in ascending order nor in descending order. Now, if we have to sort these array elements into ascending or descending, then there are several ways ways. In this session, I am going to use one of the ways that is by using insertion sort algorithm by implementing this insertion sort algorithm in the Java program, I am going to sort these array elements in ascending order. You can also do descending also, but in this session, I am going to focus how to use this insertion sort algorithm to sort this array elements in ascending order. But guys, how to implement this insertion sort algorithm or how does this insertion sort algorithm really work? What is the mechanism of working or what is the working nature of this algorithm? Let me explain more about that. Okay, more about this insertion sort algorithm. So here, uh, if I take out all this stuff, uh, these are the array elements, right? You see, these are the array elements in the array, 35, 1, 5, 16, 3, 9, 12. So when you implement the insertion sort algorithm, insertion sort algorithm will sort like this. So it will start with the first, okay, this one, this element, which is in the second position. This one will be compared with the, this one. Okay, this element will be compared with the previous element. So when it's compared and if the previous element is greater than this element, simply the one will come here and 35 will go here guys. That's it. Okay. Now the focus will change to the third position of, it will start with the second position guys and focus will go to the third position, the next iteration. When it goes to the third position, this, this will be checked compared with the previous element. This five will be compared with the previous element 35. Is 35 greater than five? That means five is less than 35, right? So five, 35 will move to the next place like this, okay, somehow. And uh, now five will be compared with one. Is five less than one or one greater than five? No, right? So five will take this position. In between one and 35, five will come like this, guys. Now. Uh, the position, current position or current focused position will change to the fourth position. Now 16 will be compared with 35. Yes, 35 is greater than 16. So 16 should come before 35. Now again, 16, so 35 will come here, guys, okay? Like this, somewhere here. 16 uh, will be somewhere here. Uh, I'll, I'll take out 16 from here. 35 move to the right side, okay? When 16 was less than 35, 35 move to the right side. Now 16 will be compared with five. Five is not greater than 16, so no issues. Again, this uh, one will be compared with the 16 and one is also not greater than 16. So 16 will come this position like this. So better position it will fix guys, okay? Now the next element is fifth position, three. Three will be compared with 35. So 35 has to come to the three position. 35 will come here. And uh, now three will be checked with 16. 16 is still greater. So 16 will come here like this. Now three will be checked with five, still greater. Five will come here. Now three will be checked with one. One is not greater than three. So three will come here like this. It will be choosing the better position guys. If it is uh, if the previous number is kind of greater than the the current position number, it will keep on moving to the left side and the other number will come to the right side like that guys. Now the position will be like this position. Okay, zero, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth position, right? So here nine, nine will be compared with 35. So, so where the nine should come guys? Nine should, using the same methodology, one, three, five, so nine will be compared with 35, 35 will go to the right side. Nine will be compared with 16, 16 is greater than nine. So 16 also will go to the right side. Nine will be compared with five, three, one. So nothing will happen because these numbers are less than nine. So nine will take this position. And the bigger numbers, 
the previous uh, numbers which are bigger than the current number 9 will be moved to the right side like this the next number will be 12 guys now 12 will be compared with 35 yes 35 has to come to the right side okay 12 will go from here and 35 will come to the next uh, right side position now 12 will be compared with 16 still greater it will also come right side now 12 will be compared with 9 it's not greater okay so 12 will be compared with 5 3 1 nothing is greater so 12 will take this position so the greater previous elements uh, which are greater than the current number will move to the right side simple okay and the current focus number will move to the left side based on the number of positions moved it will move to the left side so this is how guys an insertion sort algorithm will work okay now let's write a java program which will uh, implement this kind of uh, insertion sort algorithm for getting this uh, array element sorted in ascending order like this so for that uh, let's create an array guys uh, let's create an array so i'll copy uh, otherwise i'll write an array integer array ar is equal to the first element is 35 comma next element is 1 after 1 we have 5 then we have 16 then we have 3 then we have 9 then we have 12 this is the integer array case initial integer array is like this now we'll create a for loop int i is equal to i actually is uh, okay we have to current focus number case so we generally start uh, comparing from the second position like this so what is the index of the second position zero is the index of the first element and uh, one one is the index of the second element so here i will say index as one so that it will take this this uh, position okay then i less than the size of the array that is ar dot length then i plus plus then i plus plus uh, this is a for loop guys now inside this for loop we have to do something so before doing that thing uh, let's create some two variables guys uh, int current current number okay current element or something and int some j like this int current int j now what I will do is in immediately I will say current is equal to after you enter into this for loop I will say current is equal to the first uh, I mean this element first uh, current focused element this element so I will say AR of I AR of I means AR of one I is one right in the first iteration AR, I is one so AR of one is this one guys okay current will be storing this number one this number one okay and next I will say J is equal to I the reason I am using J is like uh, I don't want this original value of I to get modified. Okay, while writing the code, right, the J value will get changed and this iterations may not continue. In the next iteration, we really need the value of I to be like that only, right? Uh, it, it will be if it is modified, then this for loop will not work properly for each and every element. So that's the reason. Let's assign the value of I to J and um, whatever the modifications that need to be done on the I, right, we'll do on the J. That's the main purpose. We are assigning J uh, I to the J. Okay, so what will be assigned guys when you say j is equal to i, the current value of i is 1. So j also will hold 1. This is index 1 guys, okay, index, index 1. This is a number, okay, element you can say, element 1. This is element 1. Fine, now here we will create a while loop. While, while, uh, what we have to write, while this index j is greater than 0 and also AR of J minus one is greater than why I'm saying J AR of J minus one. The current uh, J is index one. That is this element. What is the previous element of this element, which is having the index minus one, right? So J is the index. So one minus one is zero. So I am referring this element he is greater than if the previous number, the current uh, focus number is greater than current focus number is kind of less than the, this number or the previous number of this current number is greater than this number then this number the smaller number should go left side and bigger number should go right side so that's the logic we are writing is equal to current i will say current is nothing but this uh, this one only right this element one is uh, greater than current like this we have to write the logic if that situation exists what we have to do we have to move this to the right side and one should come to the left side Okay, first we'll move this uh, previous number to the right side because this is bigger than the current element. So for that reason, what I will do is A of J is equal to A of J minus one. I will write like this. 
a of j is equal to a of j minus 1 that uh, array of j is equal to array of j minus 1 why i am saying a of j j is one guys this position this position is equal to a of j minus 1 means 35 35 will be so here what will happen here is internally this will happen guys okay let me show you when this condition is met and you went inside a of j is equal to a of j minus 1 what will happen here is a of j is equal to a of j minus 1 35 will be copied here simply that will be replacing the one like this okay 35 move to the right side but don't worry one is not gone because uh, we stored this one element one already in the current so we can utilize this later point of time when the time comes okay so fine now so at the end of this uh, while loop uh, we'll say j minus minus we'll decrement the value of j by one okay in the next iteration so current value of j is one when j minus minus will happen one minus uh, one will become zero j will become zero so zero greater than zero is false so we'll come out of this while loop and here guys here since there are no more okay apart from this 35 one doesn't have any other previ uh, previous previous uh, elements okay before elements one only has a single element before it so there are no more elements before one apart from 35 so that's why j became zero and we came out of the while loop now in this situation we simply need to put this one at this position one should come here right the number one which was there here should come to the this position for that reason we'll say a of the current value of index j is zero that is a of j means a of index zero that is this one is equal to is equal to current simple okay current is holding this number one so number one will be copied here done so this is a first iteration okay a of j guys this is fine now let's see uh, now at the end of this i plus plus will happen i will become two guys so here i will become two a of two a of two means what a of two means this one the current position number is five now okay five will be assigned to current this 5 will be assigned to current. This number 5 will be assigned to current. Now j is equal to, i became 2, so index 2. Now let's go with this while loop. j is greater than 0, yes, 2 is greater than 0, and a of 2 minus 1, a of 1 is greater than current. Is a of 1 greater than current? Yes, 35 is greater than 5. So we'll go inside the while loop and we'll say a of j is equal, we'll move this 35 to the right side, okay? We'll move this 35 to the right side because we are saying a of j is equal to a of j minus 1. So 35 will be copied to this position where 5 was there. Done. Then j minus minus, j will become what guys? From 2, j will become 1. Initial value of j is 2. j minus minus is 1. So 1 greater than 0 is still true. A of 1 minus 1 is 0. So a of 0 is 1. Is 1 greater than current? Current is 5 guys. Is 1 greater than current? No. So we will come out of the while loop. Any of this condition fail will come out of the while loop. One is not greater than five. So we'll come out of the while loop and uh, we'll say a of j. Current value of j is one. So a of one is equal to current. A of one is equal to current means current value five will be copied to this a of one, index one, array index uh, array index one, this position, done. So now i plus plus will happen. I will become three guys, okay? So that same three will be copied to j. And here a r of 3 is equal to uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, this position. Okay, 16 will be assigned to current. The current focus number is 16. Now 16 will be compared with the previous numbers 1, 5, 35 now. Okay, so let's see what will happen. So here uh, 16 will be assigned to current. J is equal to i, that's fine, 3. Now while j greater than 0. Yes, 3 is greater than 0. 3 is greater than 0. And a r of 3 minus 1 is a r of 2. What is a r of 2? I'm comparing this 16 with 35. Is 35 greater than 16? Yes. So 35 will go to the right side like this. And uh, because of this statement, and j minus minus, uh, current value of j is uh, 3. So it will become 2. 2 greater than 0 is there. a r of 2 minus 1. 1. a r of 1 means this one. Right? So current value of j is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1. A of 1 is this one. Is 5 greater than current? 5 greater than 16? No. We'll come out of the while loop. Right? We'll come out of the while loop and the current value of j is 2. A of, of 2 is equal to current. 16 will be coming to the A of 2. 0, 1, 2. This position. 16 will be, the 16 will be copied 
to this position like this because of this logic. Now I plus plus will happen. I will become four. Four will be assigned to J, and A R of four is equal to zero, one, two, three, four, three. Three will be assigned to current. Three will be assigned to current. While J greater than zero, that means J is four guys. Four is greater than zero. True. A R of four minus one is three. I am comparing this three with this previous number. Thirty-five greater than three. Yes. If it is greater than, we'll we will we'll, we'll move this to the right side because of this statement. We'll move the thirty-five to the right side. So thirty-five will come here. Now j minus minus will happen. The current value of j is four, so it will become three. Three greater than zero. A R of two. A R of two means what? Zero, one, two. This sixteen. Is sixteen greater than three? Yes, sixteen also greater than three. So again, sixteen will be moving to the right side. So sixteen will move here. Now j minus minus j will become two. Two greater than zero is true, and a r of two minus one is one. A r of one is zero one. This five is five greater than three. Yes, five is also greater than three. So five will also move to the right side, like this. Five will also move to the right side. Okay. Now j will become one. One greater than zero is true. A r of one minus one is zero. A r of zero is one. Is one greater than three? No. So it'll Come out of the while loop, and here a r of current value of j is one, so a r of one is equal to three. So three will be current is three, right? So three will be moved to the a r of one. This is the a r of one, so three will come here like this. Then uh, i plus plus will happen. I will become five. Five will be copied to j, and a r of five is equal to zero, one, two, three, four, five. This position goes. Nine will be assigned to current. So when nine is assigned to current, here. J is greater than zero. Five is greater than zero, and A R of J minus one. We are comparing this uh, with the thirty-five. Simple, right? Thirty-five is greater than nine. Yes, correct. So thirty-five will move here like this, and uh, because of this statement, J minus minus J will become five minus one four. Four greater than zero. A R of four minus one is three. A R of three. So what is A R of three? This one, I guess. Zero, one, two, three. Sixteen. Is sixteen greater than current? Sixteen greater than nine? Yes. So sixteen also will move to the right side because of this statement. When sixteen move to the right side, j minus minus will happen. J will become three. So three greater than zero. A R of three uh, minus one is two. Zero one two. This one is five greater than nine. No, will come out of the while loop. And here we'll say A R of three. A R of three is zero one two three. This position. At this position, the current value nine will be copied. Done. So I plus plus I will become six. I will become six guys. J will be assigned with the six. Okay, J will be assigned with the value six, and A R of six is A R of six zero one two three four five six. This twelve guys. Twelve will, will be assigned here. Now the same logic. Six greater than zero. True. A R of six minus one is five. This is six. This is five. So thirty five is greater than twelve. So thirty five will move to the right side. Okay, because of this statement, j minus minus j will become two. Sorry, not two guys. Uh, starting from six, right? Six minus one is five, so j will become five. Five greater than zero. A R of five minus one is four. A R of four zero one two three four. This value. Now this value will be checked. Is sixteen greater than twelve? Yes, sixteen also will move to the right side like this. Then j minus minus j will become four. Four greater than zero. A R of four minus one is three. Zero, one, two, three. This element, okay. This element nine will be compared with twelve. Is nine greater than twelve? No. We'll come out of the while loop, and uh, the current value of j is four. A R of four is zero, one, two, three, four. At this position, the twelve will come. The current value twelve will come to this position. Now, I plus plus, I will become seven. But seven is not less than A R dot length. Right, seven is not less than here. This size of this array is also seven. Seven less than seven is false. We'll come out of the while for loop completely. So this is how, guys, uh, the insertion sort algorithm will work. Okay, as demonstrated here with each and every element of this array, this is how the insertion sort algorithm works. And once this for loop is done, we can print out the array, guys. The current array, the current sorted array, which is uh, sorted in this ascending order, we can print it now. Okay, this array which got sorted into the ascending order, we can print it. But we cannot print the array directly uh, by providing AR uh, that is name of the array into the println statement because first we need to convert this array into the string. For that, what we have to do, we have to 
call a predefined method of the arrays class arrays dot the predefined method is none other than string okay to string to string of here we need to pass the array name this to string uh, method of the arrays class will convert this array into a string and thereafter this converted string can be printed using the println statement so this is how guys the logic works now let's run the code and see whether this array is getting sorted in uh, ascending order or not run this code you see the entire array got sorted in ascending order 1 3 5 9 12 16 35 so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to implement insertion sort algorithm so that's it guys thank you bye